Alright guys, welcome to your next Android tutorial on intents. This one we're going to send an implicit intent, but we're going to make it explicit. Kind of. It's a bit confusing, but as we know, we sent an intent last time that was just saying, you know, create this intent, send it, start that activity. Good. Well, what if we want this intent or this activity to start from multiple places? Let's say we have a second app. Off so let's we have, yeah we have a secondary app off somewhere else and we want it to start this activity on its own. How do we do that? How can we make another app start an activity from like the apps intercommunicate like that? A little tricky. Well, we need to open our manifest. And he, under activities in the application you see we've activity and our second activity here. This might be a little hard to see, you'll need to turn this up. Or up the size. I might actually try and up the text for you guys. Okay, so I've managed to uh, turn up the font size and figure out where the setting was. So, in order for this to work, or how these intents work, we can set up what's called an intent filter. And essentially, this will register with the system what types of intents we want this activity to be able to respond to. So we can have this activity respond to all kinds of things and we can have it respond to HTTP requests, so action view intents. We can, um, we can set all different types of intent filters. You see here in our main activity, okay? Main activity. We have an intent filter here for action intent action at main intent android intent or category or launcher this defines or this tells the system that main activity is our starting activity so that tells the system when we tap the button we tap the uh, app icon which activity to start so what we'll do is we'll show you how this works we'll move these intent filters okay into the second activities brackets into the second activity and then we'll run the app, okay? And we should see it start the second activity straight off. And as you can see the second activity started, but if we press back, the main activity is hidden. So we'll just move that back now. So that's how intent filters work. So let's define one. Let's define a custom intent filter, okay? So create our intent filter and we're going to have action. So this is the action that it should respond to. Name. Equals. And as you can see, a bunch of different app things have come up. These are all kinds of intents. Um, Android has intents for dialing the phone, receiving a call, a lot of these intents now you need to add permissions uh, to use. We have, you know, send, send to, all kinds of intents everywhere. So we're going to make a custom action. We're going to call it com.te intent start second. Okay. So we're just typing that in more or less for shorthand. Make sure we'll type activity. Now, that means if we send an intent with this action, with this string as the action, it will start the second activity for us. So let's copy this, go into our main activity, and we're gonna modify this intent. We're gonna delete this part, and we're gonna say intent, dot set action and we're going to copy paste the string we copied and then we start our activity that intent so let's see what happens now when we click the button ideally it should act the exact same okay something has gone wrong whoops <laughs> A 
activity not found exception. What? Manifest finds it. Com dot t intent dot second activity. Maybe maybe I've misspelt it. No, it's correct. All right. Hmm. Look up what's going on. Okay, so I'm after figuring out what has happened thanks to Stack Overflow. We have to add a category. So what's happened here is very simple. Um, we need to find android.intent.category.default. Essentially, you can have often different uh, categories such as view, uh, you know, there's lots of different categories. We have to have the default category, which tells it to look for that, or to look for the activity. That's all that happened. So when we start it now, it should work. There we go. As you can see, it's working perfectly. I had to set in the default. <laughs> Little mistake on my part, but not bad as always I'm making mistakes so anyway guys that I suppose is sending an implicit intent but a custom action so only one activity can respond to it which is quite cool uh, uh, now you can do all kinds of actions uh, the next one we're going to do is we're going to open a, an internet page or we're going to open a browser and we'll show you how that works so anyway guys as always Suppose be good and I'll see you next time.